Okay, let's see if this drug works. Forgive me for staring, but you're very beautiful. Thank you. That's a great accent. Where are you from? India. Oh, cool. I've always wanted to go there. It's a beautiful country. You'd love it. May I join you? Uh, okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> my name is Dr. Rajesh Kutrapali, and this is my friend, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Hi. Oh, there's no need to interact with me. I'm just here to observe. <laughs> What's he observing? We're scientists. We observe everything. Here, go buy yourself a scone. All right. I'd like to buy a scone. Oh, I'm sorry. We're out. We have muffins. They sound delicious, but this money is earmarked for scones. What are you doing? Oh, just getting comfortable. So how long have you lived in Los Angeles? I... They were out of scones. Oh, well, Sheldon, I'm talking to someone. You're being rude. I bet you're an actress. If not, you should be. You have a very expressive face. Oh, oh my God. Wait, uh, where are you going? We were doing so well. She never even got to see my penis. <laughs> Ta-da! Whether you call it God or the universe or the self, we're all interconnected, and that's just a beautiful... Son of a bitch! That guy just dinged my car! <laughs> Seriously, you, you were just gonna drive away. Like, my life isn't hard enough right now. But a space probe might be destroyed. My parents are going through an awful divorce. The guy who cuts my dog's head just gave her bangs. Raj. Well, you saw she looks like Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber. What's up? Oh, Emily ran back to the hospital, so I'm just hanging out at her place. What are you, uh, what are you doing? Just. Playing video games while Bernie does the taxes. What are you, little kid? Is she gonna cut your dinner into little pieces too? She doesn't have to. I filled up on jelly beans. So, uh, what game are you... Oh, crap. What's wrong? I can't get Emily's nightstand to close. So? She's gonna know I was looking in it. Why were you looking in it? Well, there's a question I might have a good answer to before she gets back. Okay, calm down. There's probably something jammed behind it. Just pull it out and see what's there. Hang on. <laughs> oh, no, no. God, no! You know what? You sound busy. I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> Dude, the whole front came off. Now she's gonna know I was snooping. What's happening? Uh, Raj was snooping through Emily's drawers and broke one. Aw, I'm gonna miss her. What do you think? I think it's very cute. Cute? It's not cute. Cute as children dressed as vegetables. Okay, fine. It's not cute. Well, just be honest, you don't like it. I didn't say that. I, I just like music you can dance to. You can dance to this! Uh, 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 Thor and Dr. Jones, Thor and Dr. Jones. One plays with lightning, the other plays with bones. I'm telling you, dude, the song has no groove. You can't dance to it. Hi, yeah, it's Raj. Rajesh, we met at the comic book store. Hey, what's up? Figure out what time you're free? Actually, that's why I'm calling. I, um, I just, I need to let you know that I have a girlfriend. Okay, good for you. <laughs> well, no, no, I, I didn't want to mislead you after you asked me out. I didn't ask you out. I just need help with my screenplay. Wait, are you saying that we didn't have a vibe? Why do you care if we have a vibe? You have a girlfriend. Come on, I just told you I had a girlfriend. The least you can do is tell me if you had a vibe. <laughs> sure, we had a vibe. I knew it. Okay, we did have a vibe. <laughs> This is exciting. What's my next move? You still have a girlfriend. Right, good catch. <laughs> anyway, so I'm sorry to waste your time and, uh, and good luck with your screenplay. Hang on. We're both adults. We can still get together without it meaning anything. Not me. Ever since you admitted we had a vibe, I've been planning our wedding. <laughs> Look, it's just coffee. I'll ask you some questions about science, and if you propose, I promise to say no. OK. Oh, that hurts a little, but okay. Great, I'll text you. Bye. 
All right, so uh, we're meeting for coffee like two adults. Everybody's happy. Easy peasy. Are you gonna tell Emily? Yeah, of course. We have no secrets. When are you gonna tell Emily? He lied about the cream cheese. He ate the whole thing. I saw him. <laughs> yeah, see, if you just change the story to the destruction of our galaxy, then a supermassive black hole could work. This is great. Thank you so much. Just gotta figure out a way for everyone to die that isn't too scary for children. And that's how mommy and daddy met. <laughs> hey, did you ever tell Emily about us? I will! <laughs> okay, don't be weird. Don't be weird. Don't be weird. Hello. Hey, you found my drone. Yeah, yeah, yes. It took a while to track you down, but to see the look on your face, it was worth it. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Rajesh? Cynthia. Ah, pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I, I feel like I should give you a reward or something. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. No, I insist. How about your phone number? <laughs> give me your phone. <laughs> yeah, thanks, so I'll, I'll call you, Cynthia. Great, Rajesh. <laughs> and thanks again. Uh, sure. Just checking. I, I have a good feeling about this girl. Like, we really hit it off. Stop flying it around! You're gonna break it! Why do you care? Because we have to give it back to the beautiful mystery girl. Oh. I mean, did you see how hot she was? I wanna get all up on that and start making babies! <laughs> I know exactly what underwear I'm gonna wear on our first date. None! <laughs> Caltech astrophysicist, Dr. Rajesh Kuthrapali. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for having me. I guess Neil deGrasse Tyson was unavailable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? Uh, not important. So, what can we expect to see from this meteor shower? Well, I think you can count on a lot of flaming gas, which is what you would have gotten from your first choice, Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> Pull up, Raj, pull up! <laughs> Sounds like there's no love lost between you and Dr. Tyson. Oh, no, I love Neil. I mean, not as much as Neil loves Neil, but who does, right? <laughs> I want to look away, but I can't. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm told we are out of time, <laughs> having learned nothing about meteor showers and too much about Dr. Kuthrapali. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.